It's a good first hole. All right, convict. Catch, Bobby. I'll take that. Let's get another one first hole, right? Two and one. Hey, this one won't come out of it. The convict's first shot, yeah. and then the second one was just old worked in Bovesta that it's most consistent. This is my bag. It's so beat up, it turns every time. She's probably got some miles on it. It's been rolled so far. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go, good old heart. Yeah, yeah. So trusty Ron Con convict. Yeah. Well, in '97, early one Saturday morning, my cousin Shane Allen Gardner he knocked on the door. Rest in so you know he, he's not with us no more. But he knocked on the door and he said, "Hey man, you want to go play froth?" I said, "What?" He said, "You love throwing stuff. You're gonna love it." And that day, I bought me an old '86 softy putter and been playing ever since. But he uh, he passed away in 2007. And, uh, you know, I try to think about him every time I'm on the course. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be playing, so I carry that with me, you know. Man, this is a good hole. Used to, it was like a little, whoop. It was like, whoop. Man, you get over here or over here. Don't be over there. You can work this side a little. Keep going, <laughs> any way forward. Just give me a gap. Aha! Probably a crown, something I can throw. Just gonna turn a little, carry straight. I'll take it. It just, the last time I was here, I guess even, you know, five years ago, it was 10 foot smaller down that. Good putt. Yeah, you can definitely see this course gets a lot of play. It's good though, very good. Sweet double stamp crown. I, I bought a t set of twins for GBO. That's what I use this year at GBO. Ooh, this is different. Yeah? What's up, guys? Man, I'm just checking it out. Hadn't been here in a while. Oh, it's no surprise to me. I am my own worst enemy. What's your name? LG. James. Go West Side. <laughs> Worship. Money. I'm so turned around. Oh, where's the old? Is that? Okay. Is it still perched next to the creek there? A little. The basket was. I'll have to look. I'm, I might be confused. Ooh, so that's a good sidearm hole. I probably should have sidearm that. Huh. All right. Hey, there's a look.
tight squeeze. Yeah, see the see them benches right there? Yeah. That's where the tea pad used to be, and there used to be trees here, okay. and you had to pancake over them. Okay. And it was, you know, so now it's a way better hole. Yeah. That's a way better hole. I feel like I give one away there though, cause it's still a birdie, you know what I mean? You wanna birdie this. Soon as, that one's soft, huh? No, well, I'm, they're out there, I've seen them. This is a treat. I didn't realize it was in for new, new pretty much a new course. Horses. They're shortcut. I'm gonna throw another. Yeah, that's it. That's the warship. It's a lot stabler than that horses. She's used, she's well used. That's one of my favorite dishes. They're just so consistent. I mean, you know, it don't take a whole lot of effort and it flies straight. You snap hard into it. The little, with just a pinch of hyzer and it'll just flatten right out. Throw it flat, hard, and it'll be all right. It's very controllable. I need all the help I can get with that. Really? That's that warship that I, in the hole two at Buffalo. Oh yeah. And you said, what? I want to know what mold that is. Yeah. It's straight. That's it. This. That's that warship. Yeah. It was cool. Stop. <laughs> so hard to throw a roller going uphill. You got to really exaggerate the turn. More tin. Yeah. So you want something to try to turn itself. Because you're kind of throwing in a hyzer going uphill. All right. They're, uh, they're, you know, they reached out to me and they had a couple of really good people I admire on their team and they kind of led me to them as far as Ron Converse and, and Kyle Webster joined their squad. And so I started looking into it then. And then after I found out the quality and, uh, you know, the, the organization's kind of family structure, you know, it seemed like a perfect fit. So I was super excited when they reached out to me three days before Worlds, I switched my whole bag. Got 13th place. So then I believed in the product, you know. I knew I could, I knew I had something here. And uh, nowhere but up since. My game has progressed so much in the last two to three years. And, I give it up to the consistency of the disc and the confidence it gives me, you know, so that's what it boils down to. Knowing your plastic, believing in it. Believe it in the process. My favorite quote, quote of the year from Eric Oakley was, believe the process, believe in the process. Where'd I go? Yeah, way wide. Ah, I'll do that again. I didn't get a good one. All right, here we go. It's kind of deceiving with that hill. That's better. Oh, 
<laughs> it's probably one of my hardest things right now is judging that the unknown, you know. I could have threw straight at it and run it, but I wanted to. Felt good. Can't complain about nothing but that. Be safe, be safe, be safe. Oh, I got it. Stick a tree. This is a very good the Vista Pro. That good Dolby double ridge, and it's got the taco sign, you know. <laughs> Par four, right? <laughs> I just couldn't get that this flat. It's beefy for a Ballista Pro. It's like a super glidey enforcer. It's stable, but. I have no wind to balance it out. <sighs> there we go. Yeah. I hadn't did my weekly putting regimen, so that's my excuse. Yeah, I love my slammer for that, and I, I got a a harp that. It's confused, it thinks it's an enforcer or something. It's a year old, and it still just moves left. It'll skip. It's a, it's a special run to me, due to the fact it's the ones they made me when I won GBO in 2017 in the Pro Masters division. I got a few backups, but uh, this one has made a lot of great shots, and it, it's very reliable, it's just stable. I'm just gonna stick with the old traditional line. All right, now one more. It's getting greedy trying. I thought I was closer than that. It's okay. I like these putts too. Yeah, it's better practice, huh? Whew. Just a bit outside. 60 footers until, you know, hole nine. Yeah, Kevin McCoy threw a roller one time and the squirrel ran right into it. And we get, he throws that hole, it's like a skip shot. Skips up and hits the squirrel. Two holes in a row. Two holes in a row. Ah, uh, stand up. No. Let me upgrade. Yeah, I didn't want to overcook it. And it's still on a slope, so you gotta be time that up shot with the right speed or you're in the drink right behind it. Don't even seem like Christmas time of year when the weather's just nice. <laughs> I mean, not not to me. Uh. Stop. Ah, 
Dunk. Come back to me. I just, there it is. Let's work with the crown. That's what we practice. It's all about the angles. Come on, baby. Oh, man, look at you go. Bye, daughter. Thank you, sir. This is from Roncom. I'll give it back one day, buddy. Maybe. Huh. I'm leaving them low today. Well, I was trying to compensate. That's part four too, right? <laughs> but that's the getaway, my new favorite fairway driver. It's it's stable enough you can power into it. They're not real they're not overstable, they're just stable. You know, they're not understable. They're They'll go the way you throw it. I'm not used to this playing without wind. Look at this. It's amazing now, yeah, out here. I'm just glad I followed through finally. Take a hole. Ooh, I like this hole. I remember this one, the snake hole. Creek snakes in front of it like two or three times. It's easy to run at the straight line playing casual, but whenever you're in a tournament, it's a good wind assist, but man, it sure is a tight <clears throat> hazard to jump on all the way to the left. Come down that corner. Just go still in here. Just gotta throw something fast. Ah, I'm gonna do another one. <laughs> now I guess I'll play the safe route. Hey, one more day, I'm gonna come a hydro line. <laughs> uh, the pro ams uh, tradition. That that you know, over the years, that tournament's always kind of been one that sticks out the history behind it and uh, seeing how Lions is our first course in the state in 1977 I believe you know I think it's uh, pretty significant it's one of the longest running events in the country this was the 40th annual this year it's pretty awesome and of course the Oklahoma Open uh, one of the tournaments that put Oklahoma on the map you know and I was your uh, 2001 Advanced champion. First year they had it. My last events tournament, advanced tournament. Sit down. And downhill comes up quick. Stop. <laughs> Just gotta throw at it. Can't hit it if you don't throw at it. What do you got going on back there? They're giving out free showers. Alright, safe footing. Circle three. Get in there. Did you see Eagle did a left handed round? I was impressed with Eagle's left-handed round. You watch it? Yeah, I was a lefty up until second grade. I broke my arm in three places. I've been a righty ever since. I broke my arm in three places. Like, right there where it splits. And then up here. In second grade on the monkey bars. 
So I've just been a righty ever since. Stayed up. All right, one more, one more. That's too cool of a shot. This is about the most elevation we get in Oklahoma. Oh, wide. Trying too hard. That's an oddity though, that's a lot of disc. Beef. That's a two. Backed up. Richard! I like Richard. He's getting a lot better. Once they grow confidence, it's when they start getting dangerous. When they're an upcoming player, you know? When they start proving to themselves they can do it, you know? You gotta watch out then. God. Ah, oh, it ain't standing up. Let's try and take too much off of it. One more. Let's get the fly one now. Turn. Turn, turn. It's getting new. Where's the wind assist? This is a good hole. Especially in the summertime when these trees give you that low ceiling, the more you try to cheat it, the dangerous the risk reward. For sure a roller shot. Get new. Bing. I just love that sound. Ching, ching. Go get my pot of gold. Ooh. You're playing uphill. It says 328, so let's go play like 350 maybe. Down, down the hill it goes. Yeah, that's the that's the scary part of that shot. I gotta throw another one. I gotta try to control that. Slower disc. A lot better. That's the kind of shot you just want the basket to get in the way. It's a great placement because you got that factor and then you get the putting factor of the, you know, dust putt coming back down the hill or the rollaways. Ha! Don't hit and roll! That's a lot of hill. When I first started, the whole first two years, everything was the sidearms. Yeah, it was typical. <laughs> One time, a guy says, "Man, you throw far." He says, "Just think if you throw it flat." So he taught me a trick. So if you hold your disc up, tap it on your shoulder. See how that ass is up, nose is down, so to speak. Bam, bam. Ever since then history in the making. So I still try to teach that when people get under that arm, get them that angle, tap it on that shoulder and extend it and snap it, be over it. I, I really don't much look at rating, but it matters to me. But I know it's a, a projection of what you have done, not what you can do. So just remember that. All right, if I get this enforcer up high enough, I want to get something in. Ah, not flat. Nice. Gotta get it flat. There we go.
Yeah. That's crazy. You broke my disc. You can't break that disc. It's part of the hooks. Yeah, they do. Good job. Why dry chalk bags? Oh. Ha, look, she's smiling at me outside. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, now she's got a reason to frown. Golly. Bought your bottle of Gatorade. Look at that thing. <laughs> you can't hurt these things. That's quality plastic. Nope. I gotta get it up. Gotta get it up. He's just screaming for a little hyzer stab. Or sidearm. Or a warship. Just straight at it. Nope, not getting left. All right, here's a good anvil. Yeah, that's a lot shorter than that. Right. I'm all over the place. I just can't seem to stab at it. One more, one more. Something good on. I gotta see how this disc flies now. That's it. <laughs> There's just, you know, not a good, unless you just throw it right there. I mean, <laughs> yeah, this is a good distance because you just. But you gotta throw it. You gotta commit to it. Don't wanna leave this one behind. One of my go-to discs, and it's a prototype. Still throwing the first one I got. I've got two aces with it. Both of them was on straight lines, straight shots. Kind of the last place you'd probably throw an anvil. I cranked it over so much, turn, and it just panned and went straight right to the target. Both times it hit really hard and stayed. But it was just like 300 foot straight shots, just tag. You're it. Threw it a lot at Worlds this year. It seemed like there's a lot of holes for it. It just came out too, so it was like fresh in the hand. I, I tend to get a new disc and use it on a lot of different. Just try to yeah. Work it into your game. Exactly. Get to know it. Yeah, yeah. She got left. Let's see how this new sword does. I've been waiting to throw this all day. Oh yeah, I'm gonna like that disc. Straight. Good disc. Yeah, I just put that one in the bag yesterday. Yeah. When I order stuff, I try to order it in pairs or threes, you know, so I get, you know, replicas. And that's what I love about our Trilogy brands is, you know, you get two of the same discs, chances are they fly exactly the same. I gotta look. I wouldn't say park. That was the first one, the Ballista Pro. She did come down the street. Ah, get down. I'm gonna go put that one. Why is 
the second one always better? I don't know. Get it. Let's try it. No, sir. Now you're walking home. <laughs> Man, I'm glad I came to Hunter. That's, that's a good course. Been a while, too long. Look at this guy. What was that? Okay, there you go. It's your best disc. Ah. Higher. No, something to my. <laughs> oh, that's right there. Check that bad boy out. Glow sword. Today was its first day out. <laughs> <laughs> 